When I got invited the first time to Japan in 2009, um, I sort of didn't really know what to expect, but it was a great opportunity financially, but you're kind of on your own. You don't have the people like the sports scientists, the, the coaches every day, you know, people fixing up your bike, the mechanics, uh, like we do in Adelaide. You've got to really self-motivate yourself and you know, cook all your own meals and get yourself to places. And, sort of learn the lingo and you know, learn about the Kieran's. Got family coming over this year, so uh, I've got an apartment for 12 months. I've fitted it out with everything you can think of. Bedding, linen, knives, forks, food, electronics. The favourite item has got to be the couch. He has a lot of culture in Japan. え、例えば寿司。温泉風呂。日本語をよく使います。例えば日本語はおはよう、こんにちは、ありがとう。I could walk out this morning and gave a bit of a wave to my neighbors across the road here and I don't know if they understood a word I said. ライスが大好きです。do get a few looks, the, the, you know, the blonde hair, blue eyed kids are like, what are they doing around here? But it's almost like we're part of the neighbourhood now. We get waves from the local hairdressers that have all come to know us. It's a nice, uh, cosy little place and I think I'm really going to enjoy, you know, knuckling down in the next couple of months and uh, getting in some good training. And Being married to an elite athlete uh, can be pretty full on. Uh, the food bill, <laughs> with all that muscle, you've got to feed it. People think of the Japanese diet and just think, oh, geez, it's so healthy and, and that, which the traditional Japanese diet is. But um, they really like their fried stuff over here, so you kind of got to watch that a little bit. We do have something that I would normally make at home, maybe in between sessions for lunch. Sometimes even dinner. Bring on some eggs and tomato, with paprika, some onion, some mushrooms, a bit of salmon. So it's sort of a protein based meal. Try and eat the whole foods throughout the day, keep the calories down a bit. I mean, my belief is to get the body working as optimally as possible. Yeah, I get really nervous. Our TV doesn't pick up the Japanese Kirins, um, but we've got the internet here, so I just watch the live streaming. For me, I just love riding my bike, and the training we get out of the racing in Japan sets us up really well, you know, leading into World Cups, World Championships. From a performance perspective, Japan's critical to what, as a coach, I get to develop shame with. He's got to get off his bum and make it happen for himself. It's only you. That's your cheerleader, that's your support team, that's your, yeah, that's when one side of your head's going, no, no, stay in bed, you're tired, and the other side's going, no, come on, man, you've really got to push through these days because your teammates or your rivals are doing the same thing. He pushes it to a level that is, is you know, self-driven. It's not coach in his ear going, come on man, you've really got to push, you've really got to do it. It's, it's all on his own bats. It's easy for anyone to train, but to do it consistently and back it up, that's, that's the difficult part. 
and you, know, you, have, you always have your good days and your bad days and it's, it's making those bad days as good as you can.